Good morning. Today we're going to do um, a small workshop, um, actually a little bit larger than the last one, all about um, making a small patch or patchwork for um, a jacket or t-shirt or just for itself. Um, I've got some different fabrics here. Um, I've chosen three colours that match the pattern of the fourth bit of fabric that you can see. And then you just need some fabric and then I've just cut some templates, hexagon templates. Um, I'll send you the template as well of um, an old cereal packet. The cardboard's fine for that. And then needle and some thread. Um, <laughs> there's the needle. Um, so first we're going to just start by cutting the templates out of the cardboard. Um, this is quite simple, but it's a bit fiddly. So there's lots of small stitches needed, but then you could make the templates larger if you found a larger um, cardboard template. I've just um, actually downloaded one off the internet just because I was, didn't want to measure the, the hexagon, but I'm sure you, you'd be able to find a larger one. Um, I've chopped the fabric up, just la a little bit overlapping each hexagon. So as you can see with my pink piece of fabric, it's, it's, a, it's a rough size, but it's just a little bit bigger than the hexagon. Um, and then I'm just threading a needle and you don't need um, to be very particular with the stitches at this point, because what I'm going to do first is just tack. So just loosely attach the fabric to the cardboard. And this just means that I get the hexagon shape. Um, so but it's really, really rough. So I'm just threading the needle really through um, through the cardboard and the fabric, but I folded the fabric over the hexagon edge. And then as you hopefully can see, um, the next corner of the hexagon, I've just folded over itself um, in the fabric and just tacked it, tacked it around the cardboard. Um, so this bit would be good to get the shape of the hexagon. So the only thing you have to be specific about here is just folding the fabric um, quite sort of tightly over the cardboard. Um, but the actual stitches can be really loose. As you can see, I'm just really loosely going through. Um, and this is a really good way of getting your shape. Um, so I'm just going to make a hexagon pattern of seven hexagons. Um, Hopefully it's going to be like a flower shape and then I might sew it to a jacket or a pillow cushion uh, or something like that. So yeah, it's a really good thing to do, just quite therapeutic really, um, nice to do in front of the telly or something. Um, and it's a bit more fiddly so it might be something that maybe um, younger people might want to do some bits and then maybe... Um, for a little bit more concentration, there might be um slightly older older age group um so I've just tacked the fabric to the hexagon there. I've stitched every piece of cardboard um <clears throat> to every piece of cardboard I've stitched um my fabric, so I've chosen yellow, pink, and blue, which match the colors luckily um on my um piece of pattern that I've chosen to put in the middle. So it's quite nice to think about the, the different designs that you can you can sort of make in these different patches. And you can choose any kind of fabric. Um, cotton works quite well just because it's not slippery. So if you use something like a satin or a sort of maybe slightly flowy material, it would be diff difficult to stitch. So I'd recommend maybe just a cotton uh, fabric, but you could use an old old clothes or some scraps of things that you might have um, lying around, hopefully. Um, so I'm just, just going to show you how I've uh, stitched them all together. And now, um, sorry, stitched the fabric to the cardboard. And now this is where I've chosen my design, so I'm going to put the patterned hexagon in the middle. Um, I've got two pink, two yellow and two blue. And I'm now I'm going to show you how you actually attach them to each other. So um, it looks fiddly because I've chosen quite small hexagons. They're probably about two inches, two and a half, three inches or something wide. But it's actually more straightforward than it looks. <laughs> so... I get two hexagons from my pattern and I've chosen the pink and blue one which are which going to be next to each other. So as you can see I've just I've decided that that's where they're going to be. 
and I want to attach them together from that edge that I've just folded over. Um, and so I want to face, I want to put each hexagon face facing each other and then choosing the corner that I want to attach from, I just stick the needle through the fabric edges of both hexagons. Um, so it's quite important to make sure that you know where which edge you're attaching, uh, dependent on your design. Um, so I've made sure that I've chosen the right edge um, on the on the pattern, and just put the needle through and maybe do a double a double stitch at the beginning, um, and then just stitch along the edge, making sure that your needle catches the pink and blue fabrics or whatever fabrics that you have. Um, so I'm not catching a lot of material there, but it will be enough to join them together. And you might find when you do this that the needle catches the cardboard, your, your cardboard template underneath. Um, don't worry too much if it does, because uh, later on we'll be able to get the cardboard out. Um, but it's probably easier if you can avoid it. So when you run the needle through, just um you just you're literally stitching just the edges. Um and if you feel the cardboard, maybe just sort of come take your needle back out and go back in. So you're just stitching those two bits of fabric. So I'm working my way along that edge now. And um this is just how to join them all together. Hi um, so I uh, just wanted to show you a one final last short video of my stitching. So I've stitched around um, every single hexagon. I'm not sure if you can see that. Um, and then when I opened it out, I've got this flower, which I'm really pleased about and I love the colours and I hope you are too. Um, this is just to show how once you've finished, you can snip these black threads because you will have stitched in between the hexagons. So you can actually go around and cut, um, sorry, I'm not sure if you can see that. Cut the threads, which will make it easier, hopefully, to pull the card out of each hexagon. Um, you might have accidentally stitched a little bit, so don't worry if you have to just kind of work your way around a bit carefully around the, the threads that you've tacked. And also, if you've stitched the edges, you might have stitched the cardboard, but don't worry. Um, you either snip the cardboard, sort of snip around the cardboard, or you just kind of go, go slow and go careful when you're taking out the cardboard. Um, and so then when you've finished, they'll keep their shape because you'll have stitched them. Now, I've stitched around the edges as well. I'm not sure if you can see that there um, but you don't have to especially if you're going to sew this onto something else um, once you've taken it out you can pin it onto something else and hand stitch it onto something else so um, yeah the cardboard's pretty easy to take out and like I said um, you can go around all of your um, hexagons and just take out all your tacking you know the sort of the loose stitches that you did just to hold that fabric in place um, Oh, on the on the hexagon cardboard. Um, yeah, you'll, you'll probably do a better job of it than I will. Anyway, um, I really hope you enjoyed this workshop and I really hope you enjoy doing some sewing. It's something maybe to do in front of the TV or it's a bit of a longer job, but a um, longer exercise. But um, I think you'll really enjoy it and I, I really enjoy doing it maybe while I'm watching a film or um, just, it's quite therapeutic as well. So have a really good time with it and um, have fun and thanks so much for watching again. <laughs>